What is up boys? As you can see today, I have a beautiful Alice mid lane gameplay for you guys. And um, this was supposed to be um, part of my A to Z mid lane challenge. If you checked out my community tab, I did a little... Um, I asked you guys if you wanted me to do an A to Z mid lane challenge where I play every single hero in the mid lane. Um, however, I quickly realized, I, I played Irie a couple games, I had a decent one, um, but I was like, okay, I can still get a better one, I'll keep trying later, I'll just move to Alice, I instantly, this was the first game, and it was really good, right off the bat, and then I went on to Annette, I had some good games, and then Annette was picked once, so I was like, okay, I'll try the next one, and who's the next? It's Arduin, it is Arduin, guys, I tried Arduin mid lane, it is absolutely trash. Um, I tried it again. It, it is not fun, guys. It is not fun. It is not a good experience for my teammates in rank. So I, I decided I'll go. I'll try to do a lot of um, a lot more mid lane gameplays, uh, but I will only play heroes that kind of make sense and stuff like Ryoma, stuff like Varus. That's cool mid lane heroes that make a lot of sense. Even Alice in the net, you can use them, like you'll see, I'm, I'm doing well. I won't deal a ton of damage with this hero, um, but it's a decent supportive mid. Like, we have a Violet this game, uh, we have two supports for the Violet. It, it is decent, like she's, she's gonna be um, able to do a lot um, this game, if she plays well. We don't know yet, if she will, but um, you know, so I was like, okay. Listen, I I can't tro I can't keep trolling my teammates. Um, I also tried Arthur mid, it didn't work either, guys. So yeah, but this Alice worked out really well. Um, we get a first kill here. I was really happy about that because I was like, okay, as long when I play Alice and um, Annette, as long as I get some kills, I'll, I'll be happy with the gameplay. Because these heroes deal absolutely zero damage, even if you build them full AP, they build, they don't deal that much damage. That is why I focus on the utility. I go uh, Frosties with this hero, I go cooldown reduction, I go um, Berifs because it deals percentage damage, I go Magic Pierce because we improve our Berifs damage, uh, Boomstick maybe because Boomstick again has this passive that deals fixed damage, so it you know, you, you just try to make do with what you have. But this is not a super made meta pick. Um, you are going to get flamed if you pick it, guys. <laughs> but I mean, you'll see. I did really, really well this game, in my opinion. I think I, I... I would say I carried this game. I get the MVP as well at the end. So, yeah. Of course, it is not the damage that carried. It is the... It is the stuns, the shields, the silences, the slows. That is how you carry with this hero. You set up team fights basically. And um, yeah, you'll see. It's. I mean, I really like this hero. I like this skin as well. Um, funny fact is, in King of Glory, this hero is very different. It's a little boy instead of a girl, first of all. But it really looks like a girl, so it's like a. You know, it's a little bit kind of weird. But um, basically. It has different abilities. So it doesn't have a shield. Um, the ult basically shoots like a like a projectile in front of you, like a Zenka ult. The ult is very similar to a Zenka ult. And um, the way it works, you shoot it and then it stops at the first target hit. And it basically, it leaves that area that doesn't do damage over time, but just slows everyone just like this. But at the end, it explodes. So, for a lot of damage. So, you can actually play it mid lane in this game, uh, in King of Glory. Also, the first ability is not a stun. It's like a little, again, a projectile and you throw it onto an enemy. And if you hit, um, there's a little clock around the enemy. And after like two seconds, it explodes for damage and slows the enemy. And it's really a lot of damage. It has good wave clear. Like, the hero isn't that bad. And then the S2 is also an AoE you place on the ground. And that AoE basically um, reduces the cooldowns of all the abilities of your teammates that are standing in it. So, it's a very interesting hero. I don't know why they reworked her so hard. 
I think she always, like she wasn't this form in Arena of, uh, in King of Glory. I think she's always been that way. But if you if you think about it, it's very similar to the League of Legends hero Zillion. So that's why maybe they had to rework it. Otherwise, Riot would complain, you know, that it's too copied. And it makes sense. But yeah, you can see Mike Quillen is not having a good day here. He is jumping in, instantly getting knocked up. But we help him with our slows. Anyway. The issue with this hero is he doesn't have wave clear. That's the only issue. You don't need damage. You don't need too much damage um, from your mid laner. Like Sephira, if she gets fed, yeah, she deals a lot of damage. But she's also kind of a supportive mid laner. And as I said, you don't really need too much damage. You just need wave clear. And this hero doesn't have it. But um, we, we made it work. We made it work somehow. Here, I'm so glad I level up and gain some mana. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to do anything this team fight. And now we can throw an S1, deal a little bit damage, you know, I'm maxing it. I get the kill. I'm really sad because if you were paying attention, he had red buff, the roar. And we didn't get the... It literally disappeared right as I got the kill. Well, you can see I hit um, decent stuns this game. And you can see how little damage it does. Like, uh, yikes. Anyway, I'm just making sure I'm recording. Okay, so, as I said, this is a little fun thing. Um, don't do it in ranked. Please don't do it in ranked. I did it in ranked because I am I am toxic, guys. Don't do this. This is really toxic. Uh, we ended up doing fine, but yeah, not um, a good idea. There's many other mages that are uh, better and easier to play, too. This hero isn't that easy, in my opinion. You need to hit those stuns and it's not that easy. But you saw, I think we just completed our Frosties and this makes it way, way better. Because our ult will slow ridiculously much. Like, it's just, look at this, look at this ult. It is absolutely ridiculous. She cannot move, you know? She might as well be stunned, guys. She cannot do anything. And there we go. And now I'm gonna go for Magic Pierce. Uh, because, yeah. We have to rely on our uh, base damage, on our skills, we don't really deal a lot of... Um, we don't have huge AP ratios. And that's why I took the Veda enchantment. Like, this stuff gets better. All these heroes that don't deal a lot of damage go way better with the Veda enchantment. Because uh, with the Thunder, Holy Thunder, whatever it's called. Because at least it adds some damage to your kit, you know? You can at least explode the thing for a little bit damage. I think this is gonna reset. Yes, it is. Beautiful. We don't want to let them have it. See, we deal... It's annoying, right? It's not a lot of damage, but we throw the, we throw the stun, we stun him, slow him for a couple seconds, and here I just keep using my ult for wave clear, because you need to wave clear. That is the most important thing as a mid laner. You can't just be sitting under tower to... Um, auto attack and like you can't just be sitting under your tower for that long because if you just if i would just use auto attacks here i am really happy that he gives me this because i am very mana hungry and i need cooldown reduction and now you might be thinking why would he give it to you it's just because your name is uh, shirko and you're a youtuber and that is exactly right boys and uh, listen boys it was a good decision because you'll see we hit a lot of stuns I tried to predict his flicker, but he flickered the other way. Unlucky. Because if he if he stayed on our side of the bush, he dies anyway. I don't need to hit my stun. But if he flickers away, I need to hit it. That's why we predict, we try to predict there. And yeah. And you can see, I can just spam these shields now. Well, look at this. Look how annoying I am. I'm just spamming these shields. Look at this. I'm not even dealing that little damage. Look how little cooldown the the S1 has. It really isn't that bad. Just look how little cooldown the stun has. It's crazy. Now I have to run because he's gonna kill me with his uh, passive otherwise. And we still have the death sickle. Of course we are running the death sickle just like everyone. I'm skipping the back ports as always, of course. And um, yeah. I'm a little bit upset that she takes the wave, but it's fine. It's not too bad. We're 2-0-2. Two, but you'll see, we'll, we'll set some team fights up really well. You see here, um, I deal just enough damage to break his shield along with Quillen. So he gets silenced and, you know, 
Like, Rourke is not a fun hero to play against as Alice, because of course he can just be immune to your CC, and the only thing you have is CC. Um, so yeah, but we managed to... Do we get her? I don't remember actually, this was like two days ago. We don't get her, I guess. Ooh, 1 HP. I didn't have my stun, unfortunately. Wasn't ready in time. The enemy blue buff is up. That is what I'm eyeing right now. I am praying that I will get... No, it is It is not up. It was not up. But look at this, look at this. I stunned two people, all three people. I would say I carried that fight. I completely set that up. It, it, the, the hero isn't that bad, but you know, the thing is... I did zero damage. Um, a support Alice could have done the same, you know? <laughs> so it's like, okay. But as I said, the good thing is we have two supports to support this beautiful Violet. Um, and she just, look, look at this, she just, she's invincible right now. If the, yeah, look, he jumps her, I just ult him, she, he's dead, you know, he has to run away. You know what I mean? He can't kill the Violet. That's all we need. He killed the Thane because Thane was in the tower, dove, I don't know man, tanked the tower, his mistake, but, you know, we we are protecting the Violet, that's all we care about. I go back again for mana, that's all I want here, there we go. And as you can see, you really won't deal any damage, like this hero won't deal damage, ever. We crit there because I like one with Arcana or something, I'm not sure. And look at this team fight again. We have a huge ult, huge S1, but no one was ready to um, follow up. It's fine though, we're chilling. Um, we are poking them. Quillen is trying to go very deep. I will help him here. Uh, she jumps over the wall, otherwise, she would have been hit by that stun. And here again, Ali, um, I mean, Violet gets jumped, but we just stun him, kill him. We get the kill with the Barrif's burn damage. And yeah, actually this game was really fun, because I like this hero. I just don't like supporting. But I really like this hero. Here he ults, but um, he gets stunned after I uh, after his shield is gone, and then he just gets absolutely one-shot by Violet. There we go, we get another kill. <laughs> I, I stole some kills this game to make it look good. But trust me guys, it really isn't good, it's just for the entertainment purposes, so do not play this. I might not even put the build at the start, maybe I will. Maybe I will, I'll see, but anyway boys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. As I said, I cannot go on with this um, with this mid lane challenge, it is, it is just too troll. Arduin mid lane doesn't work, okay? It just doesn't work. Th I, I will get to Thane someday, Thane mid lane, okay? It, nah, nah bruv, you know? Um, anyway, let me know in the comments what else you want to see mid lane. If you want to see Thane, I'll try it one or two times, man. I don't know, because I like Thane, but as I said, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.